Hey guys, and today I'm going to show you how I painted my Violet Evergarden model kit. I ordered this kit from E2046 and it is part of their Ori line, which consists of original model kits designed by E2046. The kit came with a lot of parts and two pairs of decals for the eyes. The first step was cutting the excess plastic from all the parts with pliers and an exacto knife. Afterwards I sanded all the uneven parts. Luckily most parts of the kit fit very well, but I had to add some modeling clay to this back part of the skirt for a better fit. After all the parts were cut and sanded I cleaned them with some soap water. This way all the dust from sanding is removed. When everything was dry again I used white spray primer to prepare the pieces for painting. I used some masking tape to keep all the areas that need to be in another color clean. Now I could start to paint my model kit with the airbrush. This was pretty much the first time that I ever used an airbrush, so I struggled a bit at first. I had to paint the base of Violet twice for example, because the first attempt looked horrible, but I really like how the base turned out in the second attempt. After the airbrush work was finished, I used a small brush to fix all imperfections or add color to areas that were accidentally covered by masking tape. Then I painted the small parts like Violet's brooch, the belt on her skirt and her top, as well as the bows with a paintbrush as well. For the black parts on the suitcase I used fabric paint because it dries shiny. This way these parts look more like leather. I also painted the stone of the brooch with nail polish to add some shine to it. Afterwards I started gluing some of the small parts together, like the handle of the suitcase or the bows for the boots, and sealed the paint with a layer of clear varnish. In the next step I added shading with pastels. For the face I used some pink pastels to add some color to Violet's lips and add a little bit of blush. These small touches add a lot more life to her face in my opinion. I also shaded all the other parts of the kit like the hair or the suitcase. When I tried to glue the two halves of the skirt together, I noticed that they didn't fit, so I used milliput to fill the gap. I cut the same amount off of both parts and mixed them together. Then I covered the gap with the modeling clay. With the excess clay, I sculpted some letters that I am going to add to Violet's base later. Afterwards, I sanded the clay parts, then I had to prime, paint and shade the skirt part all over again. I painted the white of Violet's eyes with a brush and added eyebrows. Afterwards it was time for the decals. So I cut them very close to the print. Then I soaked them in water for a couple of minutes. I added some water to the head where the eyes are going to be and then I placed the decals with pliers. But this wasn't very easy because the decals would slip away. So the eyes ended up far too low on the head. To fix this I added some water to remove the decals and place them again. This time they actually ended up at the right spots. After the decals were dry I used some clear nail polish to add some gloss to the lips and the eyes. I used a drill to add holes to the base and the foot that is standing on it. Then I glued a small metal pole into the boot to attach it to the base. Now I used some more glue to connect the boot to the base. All the other parts could be glued together now as well. After I had already glued almost all the parts together, I tried to put the figure on the base, but I noticed that my construction wasn't strong enough and the whole figure would just pop off the base again. To fix this problem, I used the drill again and put a much deeper hole right in front of the heel. I also replaced the thin resin base with a thicker wooden one and used a longer metal pole. Now I could place Violet on the base without any leaning problems. Here is the finished model kit. I am actually very happy about how Violet turned out in the end. Especially the head turned out very well in my opinion. There are obviously some parts that could be improved like the seam lines on the skirt, but I really like what I did for the first try. If you want to see how this Violet looks painted by a professional, check out our unboxing of the pre-painted version. Have you ever painted a model kit or are you planning to do so in the future? Let me know in the comments and hopefully we are going to see us again in the next video. Bye!